Now let's take a look at the um, hydraulic systems now. So this is the systematic procedure for doing hydraulic systems. So we have a, a simple system with two tanks, a valve and some discharge in here and a source over here. Okay, so um, in here we um, we use this to um, um, to indicate that in here, you know, in the background is the system itself. We put a one junction for each of those. See here, one here and here. A one junction for the distinct flows. And once we do that, we do the, the other step, which says attach the elements that see those flows. So here we have the, the valve, and this is the, um, this is the discharge. It's almost like this would be a, um, a um, this is like a sensor, okay, it's, it's, it's a, a source of effort with 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 effort zero, which means that the flow is free to flow. So that that that's what this little symbol means. One of the um, signals E or F is zero. In this case, E is zero. And then we put the other two uh, I and R in here, the source of flowing here. And now, after this step, we'll come over here and put the, um, the difference between those flows. So between this and this, we created using a zero junction. Between this and this one, we created this using a zero junction. So it's the difference. What it's saying is that the flow that comes in here minus what, what goes over here is what remains in the tank, you see? Same thing over here, the flow over here uh, minus what went in the tank is what continues. That's another way of saying it. Or the flow that comes in here minus what is what is comes out is what is accumulated, right? So you put that in here. You put the two C elements that that see the difference between those flows, and we basically have have completed the bond graph for this. Now you see one thing that is that is important in here, and based on the feedback of students and people who have seen the method, this is actually a very good thing to do: is to do the bone graph on top of the system itself. I think easier than that, I don't think it can get because you know this is much easier than doing a, a free body diagram of the whole thing. It only takes is to recognize what elements you have and how they are connected, maybe. That's the way I would put it here. Recognize the elements, see, here, and recognize how they are connected. See? Yeah. And then this is the bone graph model that will enter into the Camp G software, which you see it right here on the bottom. Question. Yes? Oh, the bond graph. Oh, oh, you see what happened? In here, this is true power. I just simplified that. That's all I did. You can, do the same job, right? you can do the same thing with this one, right. yeah. You can also do the same with bonds one and two. Yep, and also this. In fact, I was very surprised that I think probably 80% of you did this on the quiz. <laughs> I did not expect that, but it's, it's okay. Hmm? Yeah, somebody else has it. Um, the uh, R attached to the one in the middle, like in the pipe. This one? Yes, the R on that. Yeah. Is that from just like the uh, frictional resistance of the Yeah, pipe? of the pipe. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. So I, I am, I am, I am pretty confident that you would, you would agree that seeing the bond graph model on top of the 
actual system itself is very very clear makes it very clear how in the world do you get these models now I it becomes more important in the high these hydraulic systems because um, they are they are much more difficult to do using the block diagram and using free body diagrams and things like that it's much ob much more obvious to see it this way once we understand the notations and how the equations come up um, well we don't you know that that's all we care see right now um, at this point uh, the idea is you enter it into the CAMG software and obviously you have the from here you could go directly to the do the simulation so this is this is how we 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 do it for hydraulic systems okay this is this is something that that you can apply to your um, to the hydraulic lab now let's let's say um, mm, look at um, let's look at another option in here but the thing that I need to do here is okay hold on for a second <coughs> 